It is Saturday. It is kind of drippy out there. We've got clouds moving in, circle around the Bay Area. And what you're noticing is a lot of clouds. That's that atmospheric river, or if you will, some tropical moisture, which is, uh, you know, warmer, wetter air mass is moving in or is staying to the north of us, but it's continuing to keep us warm. So snow levels are high. It's raining at lake, lake level. Uh, we've got high surf warning along the coast, big storms out in the Pacific creating these huge swells. I don't want to say unprecedented run of surf, but it's, it's getting there because it's going to keep staying big for a while. Like it's only, you know, 10 to 15 today. It's like, that's big, you know? Um, so we're, we're definitely in a swell run. We, um, have rain that fell overnight, 24 hour rain totals. We'll look at those. And then a couple of advisories and things like that. So as you move into the, I would call this the second half of your holiday vacation. I hope you have all the time off. It'd be awesome. We'll take a look at the rainfall accumulations. These are the last 24 hours. And I'll pull up down here. Let's see. So here's, it's hard to see anything, all these numbers. Um, Bay Area is right in here. And I'll zoom in in a minute. But these are the totals. And the, and the way I look at these totals, this is California River Forecast Center, 24-hour totals. Uh, the greens represent just under a half inch. The browns represent under a tenth of an inch, these kind of light tan. The blues represent over a half of an inch. So you can just kind of look at it. If I pull out, you go, oh, there's the state. Those purples over two inches, right? You go, oh, there's where the rain fell out. So it's kind of nice to see that. Then when you want to get granular, you come in a little closer. And are all these sensors accurate? No. But I just look at it. If I find three or four and I kind of triangulate and go, oh, that makes sense. But sometimes you'll find something anomalous. Every, and, and the other thing is, like Mount Tam the other night did, we talked about it, and Mount Tam did like a, a half foot of rain, and San Francisco did a half inch. And you're like, oh, that's anomalous, but there were a couple sensors around Mount Tam that were verifying at least three inches for us, so the possibility does it did exist. So here's 0.3 inches on Mount Tam, 0.44, almost a half inch, whereas everybody else in the area about a tenth of an inch, or certainly under a tenth of an inch, a hundredth of an inch. San Jose did okay. I think San Jose came in at four hundredths of an inch, and then the Santa Cruz Mountains. So not a big rain producer. There's more rain on the way as we go into uh, tonight and tomorrow, um, and it's a, but it's a non-event overall. In the mountains, it's not really because you have a winter weather advisory. But the snow levels are pretty high. I mean, you'll probably, I, it, it may require some kind of chain, at least screen for chains as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. So if you're traveling, you do it this morning or you do it tomorrow. Uh, this is the forecast model, the global forecast model, and it's um, rainfall. And we'll click through, and this is right now, and you see the Bay Area, right? And then you see, uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. And then you see this guy right here. So that is clearly to the north. You got yourself the bullseye on that moisture plume I was showing you. So that's rain. I mean, they're going to get some rain up there. Down here, we're on the southern edge of an atmospheric event or subtropical moist uh, air mass. So we're going to get a few scattered sprinkles. This is tomorrow morning, um, you know, mid-morning. And then this is early afternoon and you can kind of see it push through. So tomorrow looks like it's kind of a wet, drippy day. Today's probably your best day if you're trying to get a run in, trying to get a bike in, trying to get stuff in. Maybe you could probably even golf today the way it's going. You probably already have and you're watching this later. But, and then as I go through here, right? Not much going on. It just, everything's, so that's encouraging because it'd be nice to have a little chance to dry out because we have had a lot of rain. Uh, especially in the north counties. This is Santa Cruz. Tide's high right now. Tide's like six, uh, six and a half feet. Um, it's dropping, and it drops out quickly. There's a lot of water moving, but you can kind of see, you know, it's still big enough when on the higher tide that steamer lane is breaking. Swell right now is west, due west at 12 feet, 18 seconds. That's big, big, big. Here's a, somebody here surfing. Uh, that this inside the uh, steamers lane is awesome because it kind of it cleans up the wave. If you go on the other side of that point, uh, you on the other side out here where the open ocean is, it's not that way, man. It's not clean. It's bumpy. It's jumbly, and it's not cleaned up. When you get like Point Conception does this too. When you get a point out in the ocean and you get the swell coming in, the wave hits the shallow water and then bends and bends back in. And when it bends in, it has a tendency to clean it up. So by cleaning it up, it just takes the wobble out of it. And for, in the surfer's world, that's what you want. Point waves are sometimes the best ways or the funnest ways because they, they get really clean. 
because they're wrapping in. Okay, so here is the swell forecast for today, 10 to 18, 15 to 18, pardon me. Tomorrow, uh, smaller, but it's big. It's just big. And then even this 8 to 10 on Monday, Tuesday, it's like, okay, that's kind of manageable. But then it pops right back up next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday. Anytime you're, you're pulling swell waves over 10 feet, it's, it's, it's dangerous, especially along our northern shores. Uh, places like uh, Point Arena and places like um, uh, Ocean Beach, Sharp Park. Okay, so I wanted to point out the temperatures. This is that. So we saw this in tropical air mass. It is here, right? And let me see. You can see all that moisture streaming inland. And then you can see why it's raining because the moisture is available and why it's warm because that's an air mass that's coming from the tropics or essentially from the tropics. So you've got 34 degrees up on the hill up outside Lake Tahoe, 39 degrees at Alpine Meadows, which is a ski resort, 39 degrees in Truckee, 38 degrees up uh, kind of at Norden. Um, and so you're really dealing with, it's still breezy up there as well. You got some pretty strong wind gusts, but it's warm. And so the warm conditions, one of the biggest problems with the warm is it's going to create um, an ice layer. And you probably know this, and we've talked about it before, but this is a Whitmore grade 80, westbound 80. But so we've had all that snow, which is awesome. The ski resorts are stoked. They've made a lot of snow. They've had some natural lay down. Then you lay this ice layer over that, this rain layer. It freezes tonight. The, the atmosphere uh, river kind of moves further north, so it gets cooler. It freezes a layer. So now you got this layer between snowpacks, right? Because the next snow that comes in is going to drop a foot or two feet, and it's going to sit on that layer. And that layer is, can be compromised really easily as the season goes on. As the snow stacks up, it doesn't grip to the lower. You can almost picture that, right? It just it starts to slip. And that creates, you'll, you'll hear about this as we go through the next oh, month or two, you're going to hear about that icy layer yeah, that this that's being put down right now. I would suspect. I'm not an avalanche expert, and I don't pretend to be. Only because it's it's serious business, especially at the ski resorts. They 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 you know it's a science. But that's the basic idea. And this this wet layer, which we're seeing wet on uh, Castle Peak on westbound 80, um, this wet layer will cause will cause those kinds of problems. Uh, and then here are some of the warnings, watches, and advisories. The the, the Tahoe area has a, a winter weather advisory in effect. And that'll kind of, they'll keep that around. You just leave it up until uh, tonight and tomorrow morning. Then you got a dense fog advisory that'll go into effect tonight. When you see the dense fog advisories, you go, okay, the atmosphere is getting stable, right? Because, oh, fog can form. So you're seeing you're, the winds are starting to die down. The surf warning along the coast will be dropped. They'll probably leave a high surf advisory up. And then there's a wind warning there. So it's all about the subtropical moisture. There it is. The five-day forecast is a dry one not dry but after tomorrow things kind of mellow out a little bit and we get more kind of less wet weather swell still stays big mountains still have icy conditions because it's not going to snow up there too much and so you're going to have icy conditions where it freezes overnight not just at the icy layer between the snow packs but it, on the on the on the highways as you drive overnight tonight and so forth. So there you go. There's a quick one. Hope you have a nice uh, rest of your week. I hope you got the whole week off. I have been eating, 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 and eating. Oh my God. I just, I ate one apple pie by myself. I'm going to go in there right now and have another apple, piece of apple pie. Um, and I've just been eating. It's hard not to. I know. All right. We will talk to you probably wrong.